Welcome to Christian Statesman. I'm your host, Zach Wagner, and this is episode 101, Biden Fading Fast. I have had several occasions to observe individuals in mental decline. I've witnessed numerous family members and friends go through the stages of Alzheimer's and ALS. I currently have a very close friend in the final stages of Lou Gehrig's disease. It is not a fun process for the individual or those close to them. My understanding of these diseases began as a teenager as I watched my grandfather turn from a vigorous, active senior at age 72 into a lost, confused shell of a man at 75. Thankfully, his decline was swift and he passed away at age 76. Watching such conditions develop and progress can be traumatic for those involved. This begs the question, what are the people around Joe Biden experiencing? His cognitive decline is noticeable and has particularly accelerated over the last year or so. He is certainly nowhere near the level of acuity he was just four years ago. Not that he was ever a Nobel Prize level intellect, but he at least was sharp and responsive in his senatorial and vice presidential roles, even if those roles were corrupt. Now he is at best a stumbling, bumbling fool. This is hard to watch, and to be honest, it is not fair to the Bidens, to his friends and colleagues, and to our country in general. We've already asked the question in previous episodes, who is really in charge of America? Some people would respond, Kamala Harris, but we believe it goes much higher than her behind the scenes. Someone is pulling the strings in the executive branch, and it is not Biden and probably not Harris. It is clear that Biden barely knows what day it is anymore. Even Press Secretary Jen Psaki has been caught suggesting it is not a good idea to let Biden hold press conferences. It is an unhappy situation when Grandpa wets himself in front of everyone at the family gathering. Just as I remember my grandfather emerging from his Indiana apartment with two pairs of pants on, or sometimes no pants at all, so Biden is walking around bottomless before the press, metaphorically speaking. And what is even more incredulous is that despite his obvious decline, the press continues to cover for him. They shill every day for the Biden administration's supposed accomplishments and maintain the illusion that he is at the helm making important decisions of state. How many Americans are still out there transfixed in front of their televisions thinking this is all just fine? We've been a country inadequately engaged in our political process in times past which is one reason we now have the gang of reprobates running things today. But to remain ignorant of this obvious situation is simply inexcusable. I do not wish such circumstances on anyone. Again, these type of conditions take a tremendous toll on everyone involved. But in this case, the price is paid by more than family and friends. Our very nation, and indeed the state of the free world, is in the balance. And that level of responsibility cannot be left in the hands of someone who is so obviously out of commission. If anyone kept track of the 2020 election process, it is plain to see that the deep state powers want Kamala Harris all along. She is in many ways a Hillary version too, younger, just as ambitious and corrupt and able to be shaped into whatever her handlers need at the moment. Her entrance into politics was immoral and corrupt, and her entire career has reflected a remarkable flexibility and moral positioning, meaning she has no ethical center at all. She is the perfect vehicle for those wanting to manipulate a country, but she's a terrible alternative for a world desperately in need of principle-centered leadership. Biden's obvious state of decline should be a giant alarm bell for anyone concerned about the future of rational governance. This whole production of a fake presidency should be seen as the sham that it is, and the success of alternatives are no less concerning. We have an obvious problem. The question of the day is, who will lead the way in providing a safe alternative to restore any sort of balance in governance? If not a complete impossibility at this point, it certainly is a long shot that anyone will have the gumption to step forward and undo this impossible circumstance. Thank you for being with us today. Please subscribe, and as always, have a blessed day.